welcome to the course that Jose Silva called the ultimate of the ultimate. The course he always wanted to teach, but said the public hadn't been ready for it until now. We'll get started in just a moment. First, let's go back in time into the classroom in Laredo, Texas, September 28, 1997. Pepe Romero is introducing Mr. Silva for the very first presentation of the Silva Ultraman ESP system. And so let me pass it on over to the founder of the Silva Method, a course that is now in 107 countries, being presented in 29 different languages throughout the world. Let's have a good hand for Mr. Jose Silva. Thank you very much. Welcome, and uh, this is the ultimate of the ultimates, because this put together the research that we have gathered, the research others have gathered, and our experience in 50 years, which will be what is the most valuable thing that we have. And the most valuable is to enhance psychism, to use more of our mental faculties. I'm Jose Silva Jr. and I'd like to welcome you to my father's Ultramind ESP system the way it was presented in class. The recordings contain valuable information which were recorded over a period of time. The recording contain more information than we have time to present in one weekend. As you continue to practice and grow, your needs as well as your understanding of the system will change. When you come back and listen to recordings, you will find new ideas and strategies to help you. All of these recordings are copyrighted and reproduction for redistributing is prohibited. It looks like the class is about to start. So come on in and take a front row seat for the Silva Ultramind system. Thank you. Hi. Welcome to Jose Silva's Ultramind ESP system, where you are going to learn how to use your ESP reliably and regularly to help you make better decisions in all areas of your life, such as health problems, relationships, and business, and to obtain guidance and help from higher intelligence so that you can fulfill your mission in life. I'm Kathy Sandusky, and I help to promote and teach the Silva Ultramind ESP system. Today, I want to let you know what to expect out of this training. If you can follow the simple instructions and you have a sincere desire to develop your mental abilities, you will succeed. Since 1966, millions of people have learned how to use Jose Silva's mind training system to change their lives for the better. The only so-called failures are those people who quit and won't follow the instructions and give it a fair chance to work for them. Your host and co-instructor is Ed Byrne Jr. Ed began teaching the Silva programs in 1977 and was invited to join the headquarters staff here in Laredo, Texas in 1981. Under Mr. Silva's guidance, Ed developed specialized Silva courses for salespeople and for athletes. During that time, Ed was editor or co-author of more than a dozen books about Mr. Silva's work. He also served as a coordinator of the official Silva Alumni Association for more than 15 years. He has done a spectacular job presenting and teaching the Silva courses. I am very proud of being his close friend and a business partner. Thank you. And here's Ed Byrne, Jr. Wow. Thanks, Kathy. I appreciate that wonderful introduction. I hope I can live up to it. I have had a lot of good fortune in my life the last 30 years since I learned Jose Silva's fabulous system. But uh, 
Would you like to hear the rest of the story? To give you an idea of just how powerful a system you'll be learning here? Back in 1975, I was unemployed for pretty much the whole year. I had been abruptly terminated from my newspaper career. Spent most of the year on living off unemployment. Began working part-time in a print shop. I was really burned out. I'd never heard the term, but I had been under so much stress. I was burned out. I didn't know what to do. And a couple of friends of mine, Alan Vera Christensen, had moved back to Florida, and they had just recently taken the Silva Mind Control course and told me, Ed, you've got to go take it. And I went over and listened to the introductory lecture and all this talk about ESP and everything. And nobody believed in ESP back in 1975, very, very few people. And even those that did didn't see any value in it. But hey, this is great. I got nothing better to do. I'll go enjoy myself for a couple of weekends, have a few laughs with these people, probably learn a little something, a little bit of science that they got in it, and then get my refund. So I haven't lost anything. Well, needless to say, it worked. The ESP was real. I found myself doing it the second weekend. Now, I didn't know what to do with my life. At that point, I still had no idea. So my instructor had a suggestion. He says, you ought to start teaching the course. I said, come on, I'm, a, I'm not a talker. I'm a writer. <laughs> I always laughed when I said that. Well, I'm not a public talker. I don't get up in public and talk to people that way. I'm a writer. My instructor had such a great voice. He was a fabulous orator. He taught orator. He was English. had a wonderful English accent. There was no way I could compare with anything like that. How could I possibly be a lecturer for Silva or anything else? But he kept on, and I went back repeating classes and got involved in graduate group and was practicing and was getting some impressive results. Wonderful things are beginning to happen in my life. So I thought, well, it would be a nice way to help people. And even if I don't ever teach it, if I study and learn how, at least I could learn more about it. So I told him, all right, I'll study to become an instructor on one condition, Give me a set of recordings of the class that I took, my first class. They're not supposed to record this, but they were doing it anyway. He had a graduate named Bill Guggenheim who was recording all the classes and making them available to people for free. So I asked Bill for a set of the tapes, and he didn't have any. said he had given out the last set, and he was not going to make any more. So I figured, well, all right. That was kind of a little test that I had devised. So I figured, okay, I don't have to become an instructor. A couple of days later, I walked down to my mailbox to check my mail, and in there was a package. I wasn't expecting any package, and I looked at the return address from Bill Guggenheim in Orlando. And my first thought, my immediate thought was, darn, now I'm going to have to become an instructor. <laughs> I knew what was in the package. It was a set of those tapes. They came. Now, looking back on that, now I understand because I was programming, I was going to level at night and go to sleep for my level. Well, when you do that, the message gets through to higher intelligence, and they arrange coincidences to guide you to do what they want you to do. That's what was happening to me. I didn't know it, but that's what was happening to me. Now, the more I learned about Jose Silva, the more I learned that that had happened to him his entire life. You read his autobiography and look at how his intuition and the guidance from higher intelligence helped him to make the correct decisions throughout his life. Now, let me tell you something. By the time we break for lunch, you will know more about how to get guidance from higher intelligence to help you make the correct decisions in every area of your life than I knew, than Jose Silva knew in 1975. We recently found a recording of him from 1973 telling a group of scientists that that's what he wanted to learn more about. He didn't know. Well, now he knows in 1997, he got it. They revealed it to him in a technique that he called the mental video technique. Within the next couple of hours, you'll learn the mental video technique. You can apply it tonight. You will be communicating with higher intelligence. You will get guidance to help you make better decisions in every area of your life. Just imagine the benefits, benefits to health, to make the correct decisions. How many times have you gone to the doctor and he says, oh, you'll be over this in a few days? Or how many times have you put off going to the doctor and paid a penalty for it? You can make the right decisions when you have your intuition helping you. What about relationships? 
I heard somewhere that there are more divorces than there are marriages now. That's an indication that we're making wrong choices. It takes too many attempts to finally find the right one. Wouldn't it be better to make that right choice the first time? When you have a family, children, there are so many decisions to make that are going to affect them for the rest of their lives. Can you give them more freedom without them getting into trouble? If you are a little more restrictive with them, will they resent you for that and rebel and get into trouble? The right decisions are so important. And what about in our career, and our job, when we go forth to do our job here? How many people are in jobs that they hate, that they get no satisfaction from, where they don't feel like they're making any contribution or doing anything to improve conditions here on the planet? You may or may not love your work when you are doing the right work that you were sent here to do. At least you should have the sense of satisfaction of knowing that you're doing some good, that you're accomplishing something, helping to improve conditions on the planet, making life a little less difficult for people, and at the same time, earning a reasonable and decent living for yourself and for your family. That's the way life should work. And why doesn't it? So often because we make the wrong decisions. Intuition will help you make the correct decisions in every area. What area of your life would you use it first? What area do you have decisions pending right now that you would like to use your intuition to detect more information, to have more information to base your decision on? You know, Jose Silva told us something one time that was really interesting. He says, of course, your brain operates much like a computer. You know, it operates on a small amount of electrical energy. You can uh, store information on it just like you can on any other computer, on your PC or your Macintosh. You can store information. You can process that information. You can retrieve the information. That's called memory. So when it's time to make a decision, your mind can detect the information that's been impressed on your brain cells, process that information, and use it to make the best decision you're able to make. You know what else you can do? Jose Silva says you are not limited just to that. Your mind can detect information on other people's brain neurons. Student in school can detect information from the teacher's brain neurons to get the correct answers on tests. In relationships, you can detect the information stored on family members' brain neurons so that you understand them better. And they can do the same so they understand you better. We don't manipulate other people. That's not what it's for. We don't control other people. But we can sure use information to help us do the right thing and make better decisions. In business, you can detect information that other business people might not detect if they don't know how to use their intuition this way. If they don't know how to project their mind to detect additional information and use that information. And you know what? You can go beyond that. There is a higher power. As so many say in the 12-step programs, they talk about recognition that there is a higher power that guides us, that directs us. If we can only detect that information, you're going to learn how to do that in this course so that this higher power, we refer to it as higher intelligence. It's what some people refer to as God, Allah, the Almighty, Krishna, There are many, many different names for it. We use a scientific term, higher intelligence. You can detect information that higher intelligence wants you to have. You can send information to higher intelligence about what's going on in the physical world. God's spiritual, right? Higher intelligence is not physical. Higher intelligence is spiritual. We are the eyes and ears of higher intelligence. We send information to them. They gather information from all kinds of sources process it, and send back information that we can then use to help us move in the right direction, make the right decisions. You know, when we're doing that, when we're using our intuition the way we're supposed to, Mr. Silva says we'll be healthier. Obviously, there'll be less stress in our lives. When you're making more correct decisions and fewer bad decisions, there's less stress in your life. When we do the wrong thing, that's stressful. Whether it's intentional or unintentional, that's stressful. When we do the right thing, that relieves stress. When we have good relationships, that relieves stress. When we're working in a job that we get satisfaction from, that's certainly a lot less stressful than working and living in conditions that we hate. So there are so many benefits from doing this, from learning 
to do this. That's what you're going to learn to do in just a few minutes. At the alpha level, when you center yourself brain-wise, you can detect more information from your own brain neurons. You can learn to detect information from other people's brain neurons. Not only that, Jose Silva also pointed out to us, we can learn what their experiences were. Not only the information that other people have stored on their brain neurons, we can learn what they did with that information, what actions they took, and what the results of those actions were. We can use their experiences as if they were our own. That, he says, is wisdom. You are no longer limited to only your own experiences. Somebody once said, yeah, it's good to learn from your mistakes. It's even better to learn from other people's mistakes and not make those mistakes yourself. That's beneficial to you. You will have a better, more successful life. You know, people used to ask us, what's next? What else did he learn in 22 years of research and another almost 30 more years of experience in the field? What has he learned? Well, he had long wanted to know, how can we improve this communication with higher intelligence? In just a few minutes, you will know more about how to get guidance from higher intelligence than we knew back then. In 1997, he came out with this Ultramind system with the mental video technique for communication with higher intelligence. Imagine how valuable this can be to you. Now, you've probably had this happen in your life. Have you had those lucky coincidences that you can't explain? Why did you think to contact a certain person that had just what you needed? Have you ever had that happen? Or have you had the opposite happen? That's great if you've had the opposite happen. You do exactly the wrong thing. There is such a thing as psi missing. All you need to do is learn how to take control, and those misses will become hits and you'll be making correct decisions instead of wrong decisions. So if you've always made wrong decisions, that's great. You're going to learn how to reverse that and convert those into the correct decisions. And if you've had those intuitive experiences where you just had that sense of knowing and you acted on it and the right thing happened, or you didn't act on it and you realize later you should have, those are the intuitive experiences we're talking about. You can do that. Intuition is a God-given ability. God gave us this ability to use it to help us to do our job, which is to make the correct decisions so that we can take part in constructive and creative activities to make this planet a better place to live, to correct problems, to complete the creation of the planet and convert this planet into a paradise. Well, nobody can tell you about it better than Jose Silva can. I've talked way too long already. I apologize for that. Let's turn this over to Jose Silva. Jose Silva is the most impressive person I have ever met in my life. He is one of those unique geniuses who comes along once in a great while and has a huge impact on us. In Jose Silva's case, he has actually altered the course of humanity. Now ESP is mainstream. People recognize the reality of the subjective dimension and of ESP and how it can help us in our lives. That's due to Jose Silva and his Silva Mind Control course. He literally changed the consciousness of humanity with the work that he did. And we are so fortunate to have him here with us for this course to tell us as only he can tell us what he did, how he did it, what it means, what it means to you, how you can do it, how you can benefit from it, the kind of results that you can expect. So, Mr. Silva, would you be so kind as to tell us how you got started in this field and how we can go about learning to function at our center, the alpha brainwave level, the kind of benefits that we can expect to receive from this? Ladies and gentlemen, please, here's Jose Silva.